Hey there, long time no see. I'm here today to show you guys my June favorites. I know it's a little late, but I guess better late than never. I asked people on Twitter if it was too late for me to do this, and I had a number of requests saying, no, it's not too late, do it, we want to see. So here it goes. Um, I'm going to start off with brushes, and I do have kind of a mixture of stuff. I've been all up into anything and everything, blending and just kind of blending and placing color, any sort of brush that does that right now, I'm just in love with. So anything like the MAC 217 or the E25 from Sigma, these are them right there. So we got, they're dirty, sorry. So we got those kind of brushes. Then like a small brush, so like the um, 226 or the E45. I've been absolutely loving brushes like that. Same with my MAC 222 or the um, E35 from Sigma. I love both of these. I find this one's better for placing color and this one's better for placing and blending at the same time. And then my pencil brushes I've been reaching for like crazy lately. So we have the E30 and then of course the um, 219. So those brushes. So those are just kind of brushes that I've been reaching for really often. I've also been using my other sets and stuff on client slots. So yeah, those are just random brushes that I've been really reaching for lately for my eyes. Um, I'll go on to something else with eyes just because I'm on that topic. Um, I've really been loving this one color of eyeshadow and I used it in my last video, I think. It's called Copper Plate. I've hit pan on it. This color is just amazing. Um, I use it for crease work. I use it to blend out other colors. It's gray but it has a brown kind of uh, warmth to it so you can use it with gray families or brown families. I just find it's really kind of universal and it works on a lot of skin tones so copper plate is a must have for me. Then I'll go on to cheeks. Um, something that I'm pretty sure I've shown in a favorite in the past is this blush cream by MAC and it's in Posey. I absolutely adore this color. It's kind of that pinky with a bit of coral in it, so it's really in for this season, but I find it translates really well to any season, and I'm loving putting down creams on my skin, and then obviously you should set it with powder just so it doesn't melt, especially in the heat and stuff. You have to be careful. Um, other things that I've been using for my cheeks, I've been reaching a lot for my pink and coral palette. So I've been going for things like Peachy Keen, Well Dressed, Pink Spoon, that kind of thing. Uh, Hypnus I've been going for, and this one as well. Uh, Instant Chic, these two just came out in collection, so I don't know if you can get your hands on them anymore. But So I've been kind of going into the Pinky Corally family lots. Um, I still bronze, but I like to have that kind of you know glow to my cheeks with a pink or a coral. So that I've been reaching for a lot as well. Um, as for lips... Um, I've been wearing a lot of just like a nude lipstick that, um, anything that just makes your lip color look better is kind of the nude I'm talking about here. This one's called Myself, and it's the perfect name for it because it's totally, you know, it just matches my lips really nice, so it's, you know, Myself. Um, it was in a collection, so I don't think you can get any more, but anything nude with a little bit of a pinky feel, um, even like blankety is really, really nice. And then I've been topping it with underage lip gloss. I love underage lip gloss. It's pink but nude, so you get, you know, that nude sheerness to it, but with a little bit of color just because, I don't know, some days I'm just not in the mood for just plain flat nude lips. So I love having underage because it does have that pink glow to it. I'm not wearing it on my lips today for this video, but uh, those are the two lip products that I've been reaching for most when I want some color and tone to my lips. I want to talk about this. Um, I've been using this now for, I guess it's a month, a little less than a month maybe. This is the Clinique All About Eye Serum Depuffing Eye Massage Roll-On. I used to use the one from Garnier, and that one is about 20 bucks. And this one here from Clinique is more in the $30 range, but honestly, to me, it's a better product. It's worth the extra 10 bucks. It has more product in it, and this stuff works a lot better. I find with found with the Garnier one, it did kind of decrease if I had like any puffiness in my eyes. If I had puffiness, it would bring that down. But this one, I've been finding that not only is the puffiness under my eyes lessened, I have less blue under my eyes. My eyes have 
um, like I do have quite a bit of blue under my eyes and I like it's not all gone it's not you know magic and it's all disappeared but I have noticed a decrease in the amount of blue under my eyes um, I really really love this stuff it's like a little mini massager I just find it cooling I love putting it on and then putting my eye cream on uh, because it's a serum if you I don't know, let's say you're out and you go to a wedding or you're somewhere, you can pop this in your purse and let's say you're crying so you get that puffiness under your eyes, you can actually put it over top of makeup. I wouldn't recommend like, in the morning I really like put on a good amount of it, but if you just wanted a little bit of the puffiness gone, just sweep it once under each eye and it totally works. So you can use it on top of makeup too, which is really nice. I've been loving, loving this eye serum from Clinique though, so you guys should definitely check it out if you are a lover of eye serums and eye creams and eye roll-ons and anything to do with your eyes. Now I will share a fragrance with you guys. Um, I tend to go for more fragrances at department stores and that kind of thing, but this is one fragrance that is, um, you know, it's not free. It's actually relatively expensive. This is the bigger bottle, so I think it's about 50 bucks, 45 bucks, something like that. It's Amber Crombie and Finch, and it's number 8. It's called 8. I love this perfume for summer and spring, and actually I wear it kind of all season, but lately I've just been picking it up, and it's just so fresh and girly, and I can't even describe this fragrance. If any of you have walked into an Amber Crombie store, you know what it smells like because their whole flippin' store smells like it. I just really, really like that perfume. I've gone through probably two bottles. My little sister uses it all the time, so I also like it because when I spray it on, I think of her. I don't live at home anymore, so it makes me think of my baby sister. Um, so that's just really nice fragrance. Uh, it's, you know, not in the crazy high line of things like, you know, Marc Jacobs. This one was like a hundred and some dollars. Um, so it is on the cheaper end, but without being like, you know, Calgon body spray, which is which some of them are nice too, but it's a fragrance, a perfume. It lasts a long time. I love the scent, and it's just something I thought I'd share. So I have three more items, and they're a little bit more random. Uh, this one is a cream. It's just the sample size. It's the True Blue Spa Lay It On Thick uh, Intense Moisture Body Cream with Shea Butter, and it's from uh, Bath & Body Works. I absolutely love this stuff. It kind of smells like coconut. I love coconut scents. Um, it's just really, really great, and a little goes a long way, like honestly, this much for both your hands is enough, because if you use... Um, a lot of it, it tends to get greasy, but, you know, it does have that shea butter in there, so it's kind of expected. You don't go too crazy with it, but yeah, like, it's totally creamed both my hands already. Um, it's just a really, really great cream for especially dry spots. I love using it on my elbows and my knees, and it's a really great cream also for nighttime. I like to put it on my feet. I do have a bigger bottle, but the little one was next to me in my purse, so thought I'd just show you guys that. So that's from Bath and Body Works. And then this item I have been using a lot of. I've owned these for probably about a year now. I did use them last year too, but with you, you know, wearing spaghetti straps, well not spaghetti straps, sorry, you wearing like razorback kind of tops and stuff like that, I am a huge like, oh my god, it is one of my biggest pet peeves when girls wear like razorbacks or a crisscrossed um, Sure, you know, when the straps aren't where your bra meets and your strap show. So let's say you have like a halter top and you have these flipping straps like that. That is a pet peeve of mine. I hate it. Um, I'm also a person that does not like clear bra straps. I know a lot of people love them. That's your call. I don't like them. I dislike them. So I don't wear them. But these are called Strap Perfect Concealer Clip the Ultimate Bra Strap Solution. And so you got it in black, nude, and clear. And the pack came with two, so I have six in total. I got these at uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. So, like, it shows in the back here what you do. So you have, like, your bra, and you just kind of clip it in. You can wear them high. You can wear it really low. You can kind of do what you want. Just so if you're wearing, like, a razorback or any sort of top like that, you're concealing your bra straps. And because I hate bra straps showing as much as I do, um, I'm, I'm a type of person that if I need to, I'll wear strapless just so my bra straps don't show. But when I do have a shirt that this works for, I've been absolutely loving these. I think they were like 10 bucks for six. So yeah, I just thought I'd show you guys that because I do, like I do have the other pack. I lost the black one quite a while ago. Or I think I gave it away. Maybe I gave it to my sister or something. But anyways, these are awesome if you are like me and you don't like your bra strap showing when you're wearing shirts that they shouldn't be showing in, go for those. And again, they were pretty cheap. 
and that is mainly it for my loves for this month there is one more thing I'm going to show and it is going to be so absolutely random but those of you that follow me on Twitter will know this um, a week ago I had my cornea severely poked out and scratched I was in emergency for six hours my eye was swollen shut for two days and then leaky and gross for another four um, yesterday was the first day that my eye actually looked normal and today it's looking really great I was at the eye doctor and it's still inflamed within my like my where my pupil and my iris are I was scratched basically in the middle of those you know two parts of my eye um, it's still inflamed I'm on drops and meds and stuff like that and I don't know if it was just from being in emergency or just from like when my eye was scratched I was like my eye was tearing like crazy so it made my nose runny on top of it so I don't know if that kind of helped it along but I got really sick like a day after this happened so I've been really sick this past week as well so not only couldn't I film because my eye was swollen shut but I've been crazy sick you guys can probably hear it in my voice a bit kind of sound a little froggy so another love that's going into July but I'm going to show you just because it's my best friend is my NyQuil. <laughs> I love NyQuil. It totally makes me drowsy. It puts me to sleep. It keeps me asleep. Um, there were mornings where I'd wake up at 4 a.m. because my eye would be like just burning and killing me and I'd take more of it because you know like you can take it every six hours or whatever and it would put me, oh cute I have a hair somewhere, and it would put me back to sleep so that was really great. I also used the DayQuil but DayQuil doesn't taste as good as a NyQuil. They don't have, or at least when I bought it, they didn't have it in the cherry flavored. So it's like, I don't even know what flavor it is. But the DayQuil doesn't taste as good. But the NyQuil and me are BFF. So if you have a flipping cold and you can't sleep at night or you just want something to put you out and keep all your symptoms down, NyQuil is the way to go. And this wasn't sponsored by NyQuil. I don't think NyQuil and Vix and all those kind of companies sponsor gurus anyways but I just had to share that with you guys because it's definitely made me feel better and given me sleep at night which is awesome so those are my favorites for June sorry it was so late again and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys all really soon toodles